very, very proud to show the Nexart first time ever in Hanover here. So uh, Nexart is founded in 2017 from the Rus, uh, from an engineer's family, German engineer's family. And uh, 2019 we had the first prototype and we are that glad to show it here in 2023 now. So our Nexart, the, the first ever full holistic crop, prote uh, crop uh, production um, system. Just to give you some facts, we have here 40 meter track with 1,100 horsepower and these two engines, uh, totally independent switched, um, could run your entire crop production. So that means this machine, this uh, Nexco combine module, is switched within 10 minutes from a combine to a sprayer module, to a seeder module or to a planter module. So a holistic new new step into machinery. When we look back the, the past 150 years, we are doing uh, basically nothing else uh, in, like taking a horse and pulling a plow. That's what we're doing for 150 years now and we're just ramping and scaling up. Now the horse today has 400, 600 or 700 horsepowers. That's not the way where we have to go because um, the mechanization and the crop production goes um, more and more in two different ways. So the machine, machinery we're producing today are more and more a compromise uh, to, our, to our ergonomic point of view. And therefore with a machine where we, where we stick to our so-called widespan control traffic, that means we clearly divide traffic area and crop area. So that means on 95% of the field we have a non-overdriven area and we create a perfect fundament for regenerative um, uh, agriculture for uh, direct seeding for um, a working method which reduces the demand in soil tillaging that helps us to to save resources that help, helps us from the first day to save up to 30 percent fuel that's what we have here with our machine and pass us the way for the future pass us the way for for economic um, useful uh, um, working steps like direct seeding, uh, minimum, uh, minimum tilt seeding and at the end of the day also um, it's about how to save uh, CO2 content in our high-valued uh, soil. So here we, we see the, the cabin of the Nexart. So the cabin is like you see movable 180 degrees in every direction. So with this movement we create a 320 degrees view to make it possible for the operator to operate each individual working step in very much in detail. So we can move the cabin to the side to have a perfect view on the, in this stage on the header or even while driving because the machine is driving autonomous in the field. So you can turn the cabin while driving to the back, check what the straw distribution is is about or maybe the seeding quality if, if you have some other implements attached. So the cabin itself is also equipped with a so-called Lydia sensor. So it's a Nexat sensor which is uh, mounted in a 360 degrees angle around the machine to operate the surrounding of the machine to, to, pre, to be as much prepared for the autonomous future as possible. So that's where everything starts from. We see the four wheels here, the major huge wheels, 750 um, in dimension. The first two wheels here are already in so-called field mode. And one wheel over there where you see the E-Drive icon is in street mode. So right, the machine change each single wheel 90 degrees in order to maintain the street mode. So in the field, uh, in the field, 40 meter and at the street 3 meter 50. So moving from field to street without any tools, just stay on the cabin, push the joystick, wait two minutes and then you're ready to go for the street. Like you see the button here, the icon, the machine is electric driven. We have four wheel independent electric drive. We have four generators which create the power we need so we have more than 200 horsepower available independently per wheel and that's um, in combination with all the weight we are not pulling something like a tractor or a house a horse and a plow in the past we are hooking everything up so we do not have any traction issue so therefore um, we make sure with the electric drive to get as much efficient power as possible here in the front we see the, the giant 31-row Gehringhof header. Um, 
mounted on our Nexco uh, combine module. Um, right now the, the header is lifted up. Um, we can lower it down for street drive. So right, 31 row header. Um, you don't need an extra trailer. We just uh, hook it on. We lift it up and drive uh, on street with it. So it's lifted up here. You see the, the inlet, the major inlet where the, where the crop flow goes in. And in red under the terminals, under the, the screens, you see the giant and the largest rotor trashing drum in the world, which divided equally the, the straw flow to the left and to the right side. So we have pretty much one cleaning shoe on the left hand side of the machine. It's over there. It's the size of a standard combine we know of today and the same on the right hand side. And both cleaning shoes carry, carry the, the harvested good, the yield, into the, the giant 32 cubic meter uh, corn tank. So this 32 cubic meter corn tank is pretty much exactly one truck load. And this truck load gets unloaded over the unloader auger. You see in the top behind the cabin, 32 cubic meter. We unload this truck load in less than one minute. Maybe your question is, you said in Denmark, I don't have the next bigger fields. Um, that's, that's not the point. The point is, it's, it's about uh, dividing traffic area and crop area. So maybe you're right. In Brazil, this machine is high valued for soy or for, for uh, large grain applications like, like uh, corn and soy or in, in the US. But it's not, it's not all. When we view to North Germany or to Denmark or to Scandinavia, where we have very, very short windows for production, especially for salad or for vegetables, and you get the opportunity to create a seedbed without any compaction, then this machine is highly made for Denmark as well.